Hi, I'm Trevor Bendy from Optics Planner outside here in gorgeous Utah. We're at the Spirit Ridge shooting range right now. Absolutely gorgeous range with about 10,000 acres. Right in front of me right here, we have a new Nikon P223 3x32 scope. This is a brand new scope this year. We uh, Nikon introduced it this year at Chat Show, so you might have seen our video on it. Nice thing about what Nikon's doing is they're putting BDCs in a lot of their scopes now, over 45 models. Now, if you're not familiar with the BDC, that's bullet drop compensation. And what Nikon does is they give you a reticle, and on the lower post, they're going to put circles, most of the time it's circles or dashes. That's your BDC. That's your bullet drop compensating. And you can actually pair that with their software spot on and it gives you a printout that looks just like this sheet down here and it's going to tell you exactly your holdover points. So it eliminates a lot of range time, a lot of wasted money, and a lot of wasted time too. You can just plug all that information in. You can use it on the BDC, that bullet drop compensating reticle. And in this one, uh, this BDC on the 3x32, it's a little simpler. You have about two dashes on the lower stadia right there. So you got two dashes on the lower post and that's their BDC on the 3 by 32 P223 scope. Another great scope in the BDC family is the Slug Hunter. This is a 3 to 9 Slug Hunter from Nikon, also featuring the BDC reticle. Now you probably know every slug is going to drop differently. When you send a bullet down range, they're all going to have their different trajectories to it. And what Nikon does is actually give you a specific BDC reticle per that average load. So they sit down and think about, okay, you know, 12 gauge slug gun is going to have such a drop. They're going to design that BDC reticle around that and kind of give you an average. But once you have that, once you have your BDC reticle, you go back online to spot on, you plug in all your ballistics, your information, you click or fire right there, it's going to give you all that information listed out. It's going to generate a sheet just like this so you can have all your holdovers at the various ranges no matter what your zero is, no matter what your target distance is, and no, no matter what your magnification is. No more max magnification or set magnification, no matter uh, any magnification you want to throw it on, any zero, any range, this is going to give you all the ballistic information you need. And it's a great feature of the BDC Reticle and Nikon spot on software. The last scope I want to show you is the new Nikon M308. This is a 4 to 16 by 42 millimeter scope and has the BDC 800 reticle. We talked a lot about the BDC and right now I'm actually going to show you how this works. So I've gone on to Spot On Software on NikonHunting.com. You can actually get onto it through an iPhone and I went on there, input all my cartridge data and I printed off a little sheet to give me some scope dope but to see where I can actually hold over. So the first shot I'm going to take out here is about 200 yards and that puts me right on the dead center of the circle of the first BDC. So we're going to get loaded up and we're going to start shooting. Range is hot. Hit. Gun's unsafe. All right, the second shot, as you saw right there, first shot. Spot on software said, put it right there. I put that first uh, BDC circle dead center right on that 200 yard mark. One shot, one hit, perfect right there. Second target I have set up at 300 yards. So if you look over the sheet here, the second dot, the solid dot's actually at 300 yards. So what I'm gonna do, get behind the scope again, trust the BDC, I'm gonna go for 300 yards now. Range is hot. Hit! Alright guys, what you've just seen is the BDC reticle really works. Nikon now offers over 45 different scopes with a BDC reticle. Any type of hunting shooting you're going to be doing, whether it's a slug gun, AR, bolt rifle, whatever you got, they have a BDC reticle for you. You can get yours at OpticsPlanet.com now.